Ontario Premier Doug Ford, pictured here feeling lucky, is an absolute disaster, just on every level. But today, I want to highlight a couple of very specific ways that he's failing Ontarians, because it is abysmal. Because he lies to the public, hides things from the public, hides from accountability, and now worst of all, he's stoking public hatred. It is just beyond appalling, and he's trying to hide it all and buy you off by spending nearly a billion dollars to put overpriced beer in corner stores. And Ontario, I sincerely hope you won't let him buy your vote. Because this week, after a series of late night attacks on Jewish schools in Ontario, Doug Ford arbitrarily blamed the issue on immigrants. There is absolutely no evidence connecting any of these shootings to immigration at all. None whatsoever. Just watch this clip. You're bringing your problems from everywhere else in the world. You're bringing it to Ontario and you're going after other Canadians, as the Prime Minister said, unacceptable. Don't come to Canada if you're going to start terrorizing neighborhoods uh, like this. Again, no evidence to support that claim at all. It's just stoking anti-immigration sentiment. He's just trying to blame immigrants for the very real problems that Ontario faces. And he's done it before. He's blamed crime rates on this, the underfunding of universities on this, and more. He's just using immigration as a convenient target to blame, and it's deeply rooted in racism. And if you think he was in any way repentant about this, he isn't. He says, quote, You know something? I stick with what I said. He claims he's just tired of lawlessness. He also tried to defend himself through a statement saying that the comments were meant to stress that there's more that unites us than divides us. Of course, he said nothing about the comments that he said about immigrants. What about that comment was meant to unite us? Nothing at all. He's just trying to wave his hands and hope that this whole thing blows over because that's Doug Ford's whole thing. Do or say something awful and then just hope it blows over. And for reasons that I absolutely cannot wrap my head around, it seems to work. I really wish someone could explain it to me. He says something absolutely horrifying on the news and then spends a billion dollars of your money on beer and wine and for some reason everybody's cool. It makes no sense. But that's not the only way that Doug Ford was awful this week. You see, we also learned something new about his chief of staff. Doug Ford's chief of staff, Patrick Sackville, tried to hide sensitive information from the integrity commissioner. He insisted that government work was always conducted through an official email address. And then Global News acquired dozens of emails that were sent and received from a Gmail account that Patrick Sackville was using. Documents were shared, stakeholder concerns were shared, and calm strategies were included too. Even after he told the integrity commissioner, quote, I do not conduct government business on my personal email. He also said that it would be inappropriate to mix government and personal emails. He knows it's wrong. He just did it anyways. Now they insist that this is because they were using Google Docs. But if that were the case, it would probably just be limited to email. But it's not. There are also a bunch of text messages that he tried to hide from the Integrity Commissioner. You see, it appears that Sackville omitted a bunch of texts between himself and the CEO of Metrolinks, Phil Verster. They were both asked to submit all of their communications, and Verster submitted a heck of a lot more. Seems like a bit of a whoopsie on the part of Sackville. As that is, you know, hiding documents from the Integrity Commissioner. He probably shouldn't do that. But Doug Ford stood by him anyways. He insisted that his chief of staff didn't do anything wrong. They're just going to try to hand wave it all away again. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Just accept the beer money and move on. Because this is what Doug Ford does. He hides from accountability. He hides documents from commissioners. He's not naming enough judges. He's not supporting the Human Rights Tribunal. He's not doing anything. He's doing everything he can to avoid accountability and to hide information from the public. He spent $600,000 last year of Progressive Conservative Party funds on legal fees for people tied up in the Greenbelt scandal. The Trillium found that PC funds were spent on a number of people who were directly tied up in the whole mess, and Doug Ford's at the center of it. This is what corruption looks like. They are undertaking shady dealings at every turn and hoping that you won't notice. Don't fall for the tricks. Don't fall for the bread and circus or the overpriced beer in corner stores. It's smoke and mirrors. Keep your eyes on Doug Ford and the ways that he's trying to rip you off.